Hey, what's up guys? The Destroyer here, and welcome back to the Lord of the Rings of Third Age for the PlayStation 2. This is part 20... 28. That's right. And we left off somewhere in Minas Tirith up here. Upper level somewhere. So let's carry on. Quest journal updated. What exactly is our quest, anyhow? So we're 50% through Minas Tirith. We still have to do Pelennor Fields, Region. Oh no, we've already done a regen. Pelennor Fields is the last one, apparently. Aregion is not done yet. What did I miss in Aregion? Join the Wildmen. Or hunt the Wildmen. Perhaps I'll go back and do that at some point. Oh right, I was... <laughs> I went in to look at the quest and I didn't even do it. Minas Tirith. Okay. Defend the third gate. Prevent the orcs at the third gate from breaking through. Apparently that's our new mission. Sauron blood. That's an odd thing to find in a chest, I must confess. Second Age Mithril Coos of Might. For more one? Yudin gets a pin. Okay, let's check him out. Uh, more one? That's definitely an armor upgrade. I'd say any armor upgrade for her is an upgrade in my book. Ah, shit. And. Yudin, right? Oh yeah, Wild Man Spear of Dunland. Is that better than what he has? It, it has 159. Does it really matter how much his spear does, though? Uh, probably not. It doesn't affect his spirit in any way. His AP goes down one, which isn't a big deal. Constitution goes down one, speed goes down a couple. Dexterity goes down a few. But he gets a lot of strength. You know what, we'll put it on, whatever. As long as it's better, 152. Yeah, it's better. Okay. You can use that spear. I was going to call it a trident because it looked like one from the that angle. But it's definitely not. It's more like a pitchfork. What is this? Ruminal pin of sanctuary. An ancient elven pin imbued with power. Resistant to fire, water, air, earth. As opposed to earth slash pierced blunt. Ooh. Sure, we'll put it on. Why not? Okay, anything? We didn't miss anything, right? Doesn't look like we did. Is there anything over here? Negative. Alright, through the gate we go. Ah, crap. Random battle. Guess you can't have enough of those, huh? Ooh, Yildin's almost already dead. That's a bit of a problem, I'd say. Uh, can we... Oh, God. There's a Shadow Captain and... It's times like this I wish Elagos was in right now. But at the same time, he can be. <laughs> so let's put him in. I probably should Frenzy. This might be a battle we need to Frenzy on. So we can do Arrows of Sleep twice and possibly kill all of them. we missed one and we didn't even hit the other one. I don't understand how arrows of sleep AOE work sometimes. Like, there, it hit all four right there. It only hit, well, it only tried to hit three last time. Which confuses me. I don't know why it wouldn't hit all of them. Well, two of them are asleep. And, of course, he can just finish off the other two, which is awesome. We learned channel spirit. Nice. What does that do exactly? Transfer action points to an ally. Oh, so good. That'll be useful. We'll do our 20,000 damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Idril needs to heal up. Luckily, everybody's asleep, so we got plenty of time to do so. Lovely. Alright, so now if you would finish them off, that would be great. Getting a lot of points for his ranger craft, at least. That's not too bad. I guess. Okay. Ah, uh, Morwen leveled up. I've definitely used Morwen the least out of everybody. She has not gotten enough love, that's for sure. Second Age Mithril Fald. And a save point. 
Both of these are good things to have in your area. Yeah. Okay, equip. Who is that again? Idril, right? Oh, legendary lower body armor, lower body armor constructed with mithril plates. Yeah, nice. All right, let's save our game. We haven't missed an evil mode, right? No, surely not. I'm pretty sure I did an evil mode before I started Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith's a big one, so long place. We've been here a while, I think. At least a couple episodes. Not a while, I guess, really. <laughs> it's only like three. Alright, well. Let's take care of... Ah, it's the same damn battle. How annoying. Oh, well, we got the answer. Ah. The one? No, that's not the one that gets everybody. Good. There's a lot, though. Definitely, definitely does a lot. I could, uh... Water Stallion, should I? Eh... I can't be bothered to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Love Water Fury is just so much faster to cast, even if it does hit everybody. It's still not worth the time. Plus, of course, I can always just, uh... Drain health with Illigos. Once it's his turn, all my problems solved. I find it funny how everybody's like, Idril's gonna be your rock. And she, well, she really is. She's really, like, tapered off towards the end. As far as I'm concerned. She's still very useful, obviously. But her damage has really not scaled well in comparison to everyone else. Which I find odd. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Instantly lost half his life. Jeez. Go back to sleep. Boom. One's dead. The other guy is alive. Alive and well, for now. There we go. We drown him with spirit. Idriel's armor looks cool, though. I like that. She looks like a fancy smancy elf. As it should be, I guess. Alright. So we're making our way up into Minas Tirith's upper third gate tier or whatever. We're getting way up there. I'd imagine we'll have to fight the Witch King of Angmar at some point. In fact, I think I know this, but <laughs> there you go. Same battle three times in a row. What the hell? They're not very uh, imaginative, are they? Throw me a troll or something. <laughs> I don't need just orcs. But the two most deadly orcs are dead immediately. That's always nice. I'm going to take out Idriel here. I'm thinking somebody who does more damage, like Barathor or something. Or Hadhod. Hadhod hasn't got much. Morwen just doesn't really do the damage, honestly. Not without her high, high tier attacks, which she doesn't have yet. Had hot crits all the time. Insta kills an orc. Alright, we'll take you out for. You know what? Let's bring in Morwen. What the hell? Let's let her do her thing a little bit. I guess we'll just double cleave. It's not her best move, but I. I don't see a point in using poison attack when she's, uh. just trying to kill a guy. Ah, oh, you missed! You're not supposed to miss. Well, now I gotta bring in Barathor just to heal her up. Which actually isn't a bad thing because he needs to use his Lightcraft more anyway. Oh, we learned our of life! Woo! Sick. Right, we'll uh, check out his Lightstone powers in a second here. See what else he can learn next. And see what Aura of Light actually does. Because I got excited, but I, I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> There's a, a sword. Ooh. 
not let that thing feed upon my people. I guess we defend the third gate. Epic scene, view it now? Absolutely. I shall break him. The Witch King finds Gandalf and seeks to break him. I have never fully tested my power against the Witch King of Angmar. Long has he led armies to war. Wide has his malice spread over the ages. He needs his Nazgul here to terrorize the city, to try to break me. He will be difficult to defeat. He cannot die by the hand of man. Is Gandalf really a man, though? I thought he was like some special being. So in theory, you would think Gandalf could do it, if anyone. Ah. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm obviously not that knowledgeable about the lore. Easterlings? What the shit? How'd they get up here? Okay. Well, I guess they did attack Minas Tirith, didn't they? Um, hmm. Interesting. I don't know how dangerous Easterlings are. What do we do? Do we do we stand fast? They might have some sort of a... You know what, let's do double attack with him. I don't know what to expect. They could just be regular guys, but just in case they use a stunning attack, I don't want to... I'm gonna get stunned. Although I do plan on switching her out anyway, so maybe that was a waste. All right, we got a war, a uh, veteran warrior, and just Easterling warriors. Let's go for the veteran first. Oh yeah, we haven't seen the sword yet. It doesn't heal me, therefore it's useless. <laughs> it's not as good as the king's sword, and it doesn't heal like the other sword, so it's just not as good. Frenzy up. These, these guys don't seem too bad, actually. I'll probably one-shot this guy. No! He actually has more than 12,225 life, and that was after he was damaged. I guess we can heavily damage two of them, and then possibly bring in Elagos to finish them all off. Yeah, I love the look of the Easterlings, though, from uh, the movies. They look so cool. If I was going to wear some armor, I think I would definitely want some rune army armor. Easterling armor. They put us to sleep. Holy shit. Uh, well that's a thing. Let's bring an Elagost. And let's make sure we frenzy here. I don't really want to die. Please hit everybody. They might be immune to it. They're not immune. But he did not hit everybody. Oh, one of them died. Okay. That works for me. Might kill another one. Triple critical hit. Holy crap. Disturbed sleep. Lance of rune. Yeah. They're breaking out all the stops. Ah, I haven't gotten to switch swords yet. Okay, let's do it now. It's at the bottom, isn't it? Sword of the Curse. That'll skip his turn, unfortunately, but that's fine. Black shield. Ah, oh, man. That's probably going to hurt me when I hit, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Didn't hurt me that bad, though. So that's okay. Would you quit it? Jesus. Well, these guys are annoying. Fortunately, they do attack with melee and waking me up, <laughs> so I guess it's not too bad. Uh, I don't think Barathor has any moves that actually fix any of this, so we'll just go for this. Go for the kill. That's enough out of you. Yeah. Alright. Looks like uh, everyone else is awake now. He was actually asleep. Ooh, close. Alright, let's let's heal up. Oh yeah, we didn't actually look at his lightcraft at all, did we? Increase his ally health pool. Interesting. I would like to get him out of here. I guess I'll keep using Barathor for now. We'll just heal up everybody. Ah, it's so useful. I wonder if anyone else thought about you giving him the stone. 
powers are wasted on Idril. Even if it does booster damage or something. It's so useful here. I feel like Barathor is the only one going here. Which is a bit... a bit annoying. Oh, I healed more when I meant to heal Elagost. Get out of here. Just, <laughs> just, just go. We'll bring in Idril. And we'll just finish this guy, I guess. Probably won't finish him, actually. Alright, still got a stupid shield on. Probably should have dispelled that. Now we're gonna have a bunch of people kill themselves. It's battle haste, I suppose. Uh, who else does... No one else has a dispel, do they? Does he Odin? Uh, dispel. He does. That's right. Totally forgot about that. I would have used that earlier, had I realized. Alright. We've toyed with these Easterlings long enough. To put him out of his misery. Morrowind's AP pool is pathetic. In comparison to everyone else, she has like no AP. You'd really have to give her like the action enhancement stones just to make her have action. Luckily for us, we don't use her very much. So, not really too bothered. Alright. Some fan braces. Party. Polished Elf Zone Shadow Protection. I'm thinking Shadow Protection might be a thing we might want to spec into. Let's actually go Constitution here. I mean, the Witch King of Angmar undoubtedly uses Shadow Magic. Right? So perhaps. Let's actually buff his. Uh, oops. Didn't spend all his points. There we go. Buff all his points. All right, let's let's check out this. Is this good? I guess doesn't really hurt to put on. It's cool looking in the sickle as well. So, <laughs> Mithril Vanbarises, those on. I didn't actually see if they were better, but of course they're better. Polished Elfstone Shadow Protection. Who could use this? Barathor? He's got water protection right now. We'll probably change that out. I don't know if they'll be using too much water stuff. We'll go... Where is it? Polished Elfstone Shadow Protection. Okay. Who else wants one? Do you? Spirit Enhancements. Spirit Enhancements. We don't want to take those off. Not at all. Water Protection. Okay. It's cracked as well, so it's probably not that good anyway. So we'll put that on him. Ah! I hate that. There we go. That'll do for now. Let's carry on. Ooh, another chest. Quest journal updated. Let me guess. Defend the third tier. Stop Nazgul and Fell Beast. Okay. Will do. Rearm Steel Chainmail Hauberk. About to get into a battle. There's a chest in front of me. There's nothing to the left. Ah, didn't need me to move. Unfortunate. Hey, speak of the devil. There he is. The flying devil. Okay, I'm going to, uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll use him. We'll take it. More one out as soon as possible. We healed up 62. That's great news. Great news indeed. <laughs> uh, you get out of here. We'll bring in Elagost to slow down the Nazgul with his Ranger Craft, was it? Or is it Bowcraft? Bowcraft's crippling shot. Wait, he's immune? I thought he wasn't immune to that. It must have been the other one then. Or... I don't know. <laughs> I could have swore I've used that on him before. On one of these. Oh crap, that's right, I need Barathor out here. To taunt. Probably take out Idril. Oh, well, maybe we'll take him back out. Fringe attack for his melee attacking. Or oh, damage. 
None of these are gonna help me. We could blight. No, it's not gonna help either. Okay, switch them out. Berthor won't die either, so it's always good. Taunt the foe for three. Why does it even cost points? Three AP. That's a joke. What is the point of even giving it to the uh, cost at that point? As soon as I fight the Witch King, I'm just going to throw down a uh, Morgul Decay on him, I think. Take away his armor entirely. I haven't been using those very much. Since we're getting towards the end of the game, probably should start throwing them around on boss guys. Nice. Alright, should we take out her? Bring in Hat Hodge, perhaps? I think he'll end up doing more damage. Oh, he has a double attack now. Holy shit. It's about time. All he can do is axe craft, but you know what? I'm okay with this. Let's use the armor. So we're gonna have a bunch of guys doing melee attacks. And then we'll hit him with the uh, mountain rage. Nice. Nice big hits. Very good. So I'm definitely gonna hit Barathor for 180. 180! Barathor is unkillable. What a boss. Nazgul's no problem. We eat Nazgul's for breakfast. Mm, that's the AoE one, isn't it? It hurts. But it's not the end of the world. Alright, we'll go Axe Craft. Let's do a cleaving wound. Doesn't sound too bad, huh? Put a little dot on him. Let him take the damage over time. Alright, Barathor will heal up. Automatically! It's like magic. Love fighting melee units. With a little Barry Thor. Stone Hero, was that? Rocks the very earth. Was that good? I forgot. Probably not. But we'll try it out. Nope, it is dog shit. Okay, good to know. Elagos has not gone very much, has he? He has a lot of points, so we'll just frenzy up. Spirit power, drain health, absolutely. This is the party. Barathor, Hadhod, Yodin. If I want damage done, Hadhod is interchangeable for Elagos, depending on the situation, though. I think. Idril, though, depends on the situation as well, I suppose. Uh, will this finish him? Not even close. We get Shattering Strike. Lowers his armor value. Lower it even more. Nice. Let's lower his armor to the point where there is no armor. I don't think that's a thing. Ooh, had Hudson get close to death. I'm thinking Barathor's gonna have to heal him. We could try Aura of Life as well. That's an intriguing, uh skill to use as well. Increases an ally's health pool. Meaning instead of having like 4,000 life, we could have 5,000. Let's try it. Might as well. Oh, shit, it gives it to everybody. That's a thing. It's literally doing nothing to me. Yeah, bite him. I love it when he bites me because it just heals me back up. He's basically giving me free health by using melee attacks. What a dummy. Alright. I think it's time for an Exilion Wrath. This one's taking a while to kill. But we will kill him. Someday. Alright, so another Mountain Rage. This should do good damage. Ah, fuck. Unless we miss. Like so. Unfortunately, he goes more often than I do, and I'm unable to slow this one, which is even more unfortunate. Come on. Get your shit over with. Alright. Don't miss this time, please, if you would. Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's do this. Increase the odds of group hits and enemy misses. Apparently, we're having issues hitting. Seems like a good idea. Right, he can go again, thankfully. 
It's about time. He's very slow in comparison to uh, Barathar and Hadhod. They go like four times and then he goes. Will that be enough to finish? No. Gotta be close though. Hopefully this is the Nazgul the quest is talking about. I don't have to fight another one. Why would it not surprise me if I did? This place like seems like it'd be full of them. Since there are, what, seven of them? Uh, nine? There's nine of them? <laughs> Jesus. There's only seven Nazgul's, guys. You heard it here first. Lol. Alright, good. He flew off. Good riddance. Morwen gets a scale mill hauberk. Oh, nice. That was the quest. Alright, there's a chest over there. I'm gonna go for it before I equip that one. Don't be at battle. Yes. A ring of weapon warding. It's an interesting, uh, interesting thing. What's this? Another piece of armor for more one. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Okay. Let's equip the stuff on more one, and we'll check out Berthor's ring. Probably not. Well, it might be better. That's good. Steel helmets. I didn't even look at the stats. I'm just gonna assume it's better. Oops. Let's check out this ring, eh? Powerful oven ring from long forgotten time. Resists a slash, pierce blunt. Okay. Uh, it does not lower my AP very much, which I believe is the reason I didn't change rings to begin with, wasn't it? What is this? Resistant to water. Oh, he actually had three things resistant to water. Impressive. Okay. It seems good. Seems very good, in fact. Ah! Why you do this? Just let me go in peace. Hmm. Okay. We'll bring in the, uh, the fixer. He fixes all my problems. There we go. Arrows asleep for everybody. Except for the guy who's immune. I mean, he still gets them, I guess. Uh, do we want to keep using... Uh, yeah. Let's just finish him off. 21,000. Have a nap. He gets his nap. The artificial way. His arrows of sleep. Or dealt through a trident thing. <laughs> sure. Why not? More one leveled up. Yay. I guess. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at something. I guess I'll spend her points while I'm here. There you go, more one. Enjoy. Skills. Barathor. Shadow not Shadowcraft, Lightcraft. Alright, we're learning increases one party member's rate of attack for the remainder of the battle, or we can go power of Let's learn power of the Valar. That's the one that heal or revives. Giving birth or a revive would be epic. Then I wouldn't have to rely so heavily on Idriel. In fact, I wouldn't have to use Idriel at all to think about it. Gondorian Steel Warrior of Embraces. Nice. Okay. It's... They seem bad. Is that just me? Why do they seem bad? I guess not everything is going to be good, huh? Oh, those are shit. Forget it. Alright. Oh! Looky looky. Be gone from this place, creature of shadow. Oh shit. <laughs> I was about to end the video too. And now we probably have a very long battle against the Witch King. Well, that's a thing. Okay. A bolt of sacred fire. Unleash a powerful bolt of pure energy. Reduce your shadow damage done to the party. Drain spirit from enemies. Let's do this. We must endure the shadow. It's a good thing we put on those shadow things, huh? 
Probably won't help that much, but it'll still help. Uh, I guess we could do a mountain shield? Does he have a move that gives damaging shield to everybody? I forget. He might. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure this works on him, right? No. We'll try all the effect ones. He's probably immune to everything, but it's probably worth learning. Alright, you get Gandalf. You will rue the day, sir. Don't you bit Gandalf in the face. Ooh, big hits. He just takes straight from the health pool. Does not pass go, does not collect $200. Oh yeah, we want to steal from the Witch King, of course, so we're going to have to bring in... Miss dies a lot. Drain spirit energy from enemies? Spirit from enemies. Let's see powerful bolt of energy. Let's try it. Boom! <laughs> Look at that damage. Gandalf, you beast. Had hard to get hit. He's okay. Alright, so do we, uh, do we blind him? We could try. He's probably immune to blinding as well. He is not immune to blinding. I don't know how much it gets a it's going to help, but it's worth a shot. We've almost taken half his life away already. This is not very difficult. Holy shit. We need to get Barathor in there. Should have Uh Well, he could taunt, I suppose. Although I don't want him to, really, to be honest. Because then I won't be able to taunt with the other guy. Alright, we'll make him bleed. Nice. Big ol' critical hit. Alright, get out of here. Let Barathor have his time. The king is here. There we go. Everyone else should be safe. Unless he uses AoE, of course. Ah, uh, we could do some... Some things. Reduces all spirit power damage done to the group. Sure. Use a bunch of things that buff us. So we take very little. We could wizard drain. Or we could just hit him. Just hit him again. We're doing good damage. Might as well just finish him. Oh yeah, we're gonna steal. I don't wanna forget. I wanna see what the Witch King has on him. All he's gonna do is Morgul wins. Barathor should be just fine. So of course, he can heal himself with ease. Alright, so let's bring in uh, Morwen. I think we're not even going to use a drill. I might bring her in. Who knows? Oh, she can double attack now, finally. About time. Morgul Decay, that's it? I was expecting him to have something nice. That's not so nice. Alright, heal up. Yeah. Very good. Bolt of the Valar. It costs a lot, but it's worth it. And then, of course, we can just drain AP from him, I guess. That barely did anything. In fact, it did nothing. Ridiculous. Alright, I guess you can have some time and we'll use your. <laughs> almost all your AP just in one thing. Can you poison the Witch King? He's almost dead already. This can't be the old, the final Witch King fight. This seems too easy. Of course, uh, we're not going to be able to kill the Witch King anyway. We have a woman, though. Although it would not be canon to uh, have Morwen kill the Witch King, would it? Doesn't really make sense. I don't think that's going to happen. He'll fly off and go fight Eowyn and die. Good riddance. That was, that was easy. I didn't even need Gandalf for that, to be honest. I would have beat him. It would have took a while, but I would have easily taken him out. Come here, I'm getting cocky. Barathor gets a golden elven battle shield. Nice. The horns of the Rohirrim. I turn. I must hurry. Faramir is in great peril. You must reach the seventh level. I shall meet you there. You must defend the future of Gondor. Together. Okay. 
Why couldn't you just go with us, Gandalf? Why must you leave us here? I could have swore I saw a save point. I did, actually. There is indeed a save point over here. First, is there any loot? Yes, indeed there is. Doesn't seem like there's any orcs attacking here, so, uh... Unless there's a scripted battle. Is there a scripted battle? A Sildor's Pin of Wrath. That's probably pretty good. Ooh, another chest. I like chests. Braherim steal Captain Greaves for Eoden. Nice. It's always like, here's something cool and here's something useless. Thanks, game. Oh, there's a chest over here as well. Sneaky little chests. Dwarven Warhammer. I'm not sure how good that'll be. Alright, so we need to equip the stuff, save our game, and then we'll call it a day. So what do we get? A battle shield. Eh, I guess they're sure. Put it on. Cool, I guess. That was weird. It glitched out his uh, <laughs> skin there for a second. 115 damage. How much does ours do right now? 196. Why is this one so shit? It must either do something special or not. Oops. I'm not going to equip it because I don't think it's very good. As far as I can tell. New new equipment for you guys. Chairmail Halberg. Apparently I missed that for him. Good. I thought his chest piece looked bad anyway. Rehearm Velvet Overcloak. That's good. Oops. Getting confused with the pin or the keys. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot of stuff I forgot to put on. Alright, a pin of wrath. Resistance to shadow and blunt. As opposed to that. Which is just a fire, water, earth. I think at this point we could switch that out. A pin used in the last alliance battles against the Dark Lord. Cool. Alright, let's save our game. And then I'll head off. Made good progress, though. We're getting up there. We should be getting near... We're near the Citadel. There you go. That's exactly where we are. Alright, well, there you go. That was pretty fun. So that's been part 28 of The Lord of the Rings The Third Age. So join me again next time. And we'll carry on through that gate and see what lies ahead. So see you guys next time.